Hey, how's it going? We're uh, here today. We're going to be uh, assembling this uh, new supercomputer. We got all the parts here, our case. We got the new NVIDIA G4780 uh, graphics card. We have a gigabyte motherboard and we decided to go with the hexa-core, six-core processor for the uh, video editing capabilities and gaming. And you can see the power supply. We decided to not skimp, go with the 1200 watt just for some uh, headroom there. And we maxed out the memory with uh, two 32 gig uh, kits. So we got 64 gigs of, uh, of high speed RAM right there. And solid state we want with the new Samsung uh, 840 Pro 512 gig. So that'll be our operating system, which is Windows 8 professional 64 bit. And then we have our uh, water cooler here. We're gonna hook this up and uh, try to get some overclocking done here and see how high we can actually push the Intel chip. Let's have some fun. Say that again, yeah. sorry. So this case we got here, we got a lot of bays uh, and expansion ports and you see the, the pretty big fans here, but it's nice because they're hand screws. Usually the first time it, uh, they have them locked down pretty tight, so we'll just open it up. And then in the future, we can easily uh, use the you know hand tight screws off Let's go ahead and open this up and you can see uh, we have our ports here for uh, our bays for uh, things like the blu-ray burner we'll put there here's our hard drive bays we'll have plenty of space to uh, expand in here so first step is we'll Go ahead and install the motherboard. So we're gonna put this on its side. Right here we're gonna open up our motherboard. We decided to go with the Gigabyte uh, X79 UP4, which is a uh, LG 2011 uh, model, which will support our hexacore processor. So let's go ahead and open this up. But uh, today we're going with 64 gigs of RAM. So a lot of the fundamentals haven't changed. The uh, processor array and um, being you know, able to pop the processor in there and the RAM slot. So they've uh, modified things, but for the most part, the fundamentals have stayed the same. So we're gonna put our back plate in here to allow access to all the ports. This way. So right now we're uh, opening up the Corsair One H100i, the water cooling system. Some different back plates here, Some cables. Now we're going to uh, try to look through the documentation, figure out the best location for our heat sink. We can um, hook it up either on the top or on the side, so we'll check this out and see which way we want to go. Right now we're going to be opening up the Intel Core i7 here. This is the 3930K, the hexa-core. So we'll, uh, we see it back here. So let's go ahead and open this up. So here's our chip. You can see there's actually a 2011 of these little pins right there. I think LG is line grid array, I believe. So that's, um, you know, you have to make sure the right motherboard fits the right processor. So we'll go ahead and sit this in here. Try not to, um, and see how we want to set this in. Yeah, you get the night just with this too. Yeah, see oh. that? Yeah. yeah, be careful there. Okay, right there. There we go. Well, I think we gotta go the other side like this. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's only one way to do it, so mm. take your time like we did, and that way you make sure you got it in there. So that's basically sitting there, that's good to go. And then um, we will remove our spacer here. Oh, you're gonna take that out? Yeah, this is just a temporary holder here. 
So the processor's sitting there, everything should be good and snug. And then basically we'll drop this down, lift here. Let's connect that down. Snug that. There you go, and now it's locked in. That's good. Cool. All right, so the processor's in, and uh, next up, well, what we'll do is we'll um, install the, the power supply. We'll hook that down at the bottom here of the case. So we just put in the. Uh, power supply there. We got the uh, 1200 watt power supply by PC Power and cooling. It's a pretty good high end built in. We do have some optional cables there so it'll help us a little bit there with cable management. Good to go. And next we're going to uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the Blu-ray burner in here and get this thing unboxed. That was it. Yeah, these should pop out. Well, we're trying to check the base size here. This is a... Um, it's not gonna be yeah. too small. <laughs> it's, so usually there's a kit, there's a desktop expansion kit to, to uh, modify, so... Here we go. Just need some screws now. So there's our solid state drive there, 512 gig Samsung. We're going to install our Windows 8 operating system on there, and we decided to go for data and backup storage, a four terabyte Western Digital. This is currently um, the WD Black, so it's it's currently one of the fastest traditional hard drives on there. So we'll use this for our data. So we basically got to find. Yeah, he needs, he needs a <laughs> HD speaker. That's right. We got to find the HD audio on here. I see audio written right here. Mm. Here's our USB 2.0. There's two of them. Yep, so two of them. So we put one here. USB 2.0. Okay, next we're ready to open up our graphics card. We went with the Gigabyte. Uh, GeForce GTX 780. This one we researched and it actually does have a lot better cooling system. Here's the card right here. Gigabyte GeForce 780 graphics card. You can see the nice uh, uh, cooling design that Gigabyte decided to go with the WinForce. So there's a PCI Express slot. We have uh, dual uh, DVIs, HDMI, and DisplayPort cables there ready to go. So right now we're going to go ahead and um, situate this inside the case. Let's remove our little protector. And we're ready to pop it in here. So let's yeah, these go are uh, hand tightened, but from the factory, this case they over tighten it a little bit just so it doesn't come loose and travel. Mm. So now we're ready to. in there. Yeah. So each graphic card, one monitor. Yeah, could, yeah, or if you have one monitor, it'll split that one monitor into four individual mm -hmm. segments and it'll render each four segments. So the graphics card just has like one. This right in here. It snaps. So this is our main power support support here. This is uh, where we plug in. Now there's an additional power supply needed for uh, the CPU. So now we got to look here for Next is the graphics card. So this requires two additional ones. So we have PCI Express here. So let's go ahead and um, plug it in. We're going for the hard drive first. Yeah, well, this is a serial ATA connection. Oh, we get some. So we're going to need that for the 
hard drives or Samsung solid state. Make sure it's nice and snug. We're going to plug this one. Okay, next we'll need power for the um, other hard drive. So let's get another serial AT cable. Connect this. Now we might be able to use this extra line for the Corsair cooler because this requires a serial AK, serial ATA connection to say that. Let's try this here. And there's also a, a traditional four pin Molex, which some of the fans utilize. Um, so we may need to connect those up as well. Yeah, here's, here's an example of the four pin. Molex connection. There's one one of the mid cables is not needed in this one, so we'll hook that up when we're done with one of the additional. So this one will have. We'll set this aside when we stitch. Here we go. I think we're ready to stand it up. I'm going to use this for the hard drive. All right. Gimpy has hard drive. Okay. There, system fan header. Should work right there. Let me see. Let me just see if there's one. Right here we got our memory. Take all this out. Boom, the Corsair Vengeance. Nice little heat sink here. How many pins? 60. This can only go in one way, we'll push it in. Ooh, not easy. Push it. Uh, yeah, you gotta you really use two hands. To... Okay, ready? Boom! <laughs> well, it's spinning up, so that's a good sign. Okay. It's quiet. Let's see if uh, it recognizes everything. Delete key. Said it. I think, did you have to press something while it's turning on? Well, yeah, usually the delete button. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah, so we were we got stuck on the bio screen. We couldn't get past the post. Uh, it wouldn't even post. So I researched it. Basically, the GeForce um, 780 graphics card is so new that it's not compatible yet with the Gigabyte motherboard. There's an updated BIOS that we have to flash the motherboard. But, you know, obviously we couldn't get even to that utility to flash it. So in order to do that, as I swapped out an older um, Radeon graphics card for a couple years ago, and now we're able to get into the BIOS. So I'll download the updated BIOS, flash the BIOS, and then we should be able to put this new graphics card back in, and then we should be good to go. So. That's what our next step is. How did you figure it out? Wow, how did you figure you know, that uh, out? Google. Google. <laughs> Good old Google, you know, somebody else. Why reinvent the wheel so somebody else figured that out for us? <laughs> All right, so. Now we're in there. So, why don't we just, uh, you want to just continue tomorrow? Sure, yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, you know, at least we, we have an optimistic yeah. start tomorrow. Oh, yeah. big stick, and we got this uh, real old graphics card that's. Uh, Tiny compared to our, our new model there, but sometimes you got to go backwards in order to mm -hmm. go forwards. So, so yeah. it's reading the processor, so that's good. It's just the BIOS version F2. Uh, this is um, over a year old, so there's an updated BIOS we got to download. We figure 2012, the, the G4 780 wasn't even invented back then, so I go like that. Cool. So we'll pick this back up and we'll definitely get it working. All right. All right, thank you, Mr. Sturak, for uh, you, part one. Time, yeah. <laughs> part one is done. <laughs> so we got to get some sleep, and then we'll uh, we'll be back for part two tomorrow.